morning. This is Shindo. Why this is not getting more airtime and why people aren't talking about this on YouTube, I don't know. But, information out there, Iran says 10 detained U.S. sailors freed, no confirmation from U.S. yet. Apparently, Iran, overnight, detained of course, it's not night there, but during the night, Iran detained 10 U.S. sailors. This should be major news. I figure people like Paul Begley must be, you know, sleeping in their own vomit, you know, by about now. So, scooped you again, Paul. Okay, here it is, CNN. Breaking news update, 5.09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is about 20 minutes ago. The 10 U.S. sailors detained in Iran have been released. Iran's state-run press TV reported Wednesday there was no confirmation from the U.S. side. Previous story published at 4.33 a.m. Eastern Time, about an hour ago, what sounded like the imminent release of 10 American sailors dragged on for hours Wednesday with Iranian officials interrogating the sailors for about, about their motives and demanding a U.S. apology. By mid-day Wednesday, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps said the sailors are quote, likely to be released soon, unquote, state-run media said. Quote, the evidence suggests that they unintentionally entered the Iranian waters because of the failure of their navigational system, quote, unquote. IRGC spokesman Ramazan Sharif said on Press TV, U.S. officials have not confirmed what caused two American naval ships to enter Iranian waters near Farsi Island on Tuesday. Now, oh, come on. <laughs> there. Okay. The U.S. Navy spoke with the captured solar, soldiers, uh, sailors who said they expected to be released Wednesday morning. A senior U.S. official told CNN on Tuesday, but they weren't. Calls for an apology. Instead, officials were interrogating them to see whether they quote, entered Iranian waters intentionally on an intelligence mission, unquote, probably why they were there, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps said, according to the state-run press TV. An Iran foreign minister called for the United States to apologize for the encroachment, quote, unquote, of American vessels into Iranian territorial waters, state-run media reported, citing a top Iranian Navy commander. IRGC Navy Commander Admiral Ali Fadivi said the presence of the U.S. Navy in the Persian Gulf waters disturbed the security of the area and criticized the U.S. Navy maneuvers. There is nothing to indicate the capture was hostile act on the part of Iran, a senior Obama administration <laughs> official said. Uh, they pulled over our boat, President. Secretary of State John Kerry told CNN Dana Bash on Tuesday that he expected the sailors to be released, quote, very soon, unquote, but would not be more specific. I wonder why the rest of the world thinks we're a bunch of pussies, huh? The vessels were en route from Kuwait to Bahrain and were sailing near Fossi Island in the Persian Gulf. A senior defense official said no distress call was made by the ships. Another senior defense official told CNN the boats were in the area of Farsi Island for refueling, but it's not clear whether they had actually refueled, raising the possibility that they ran out of power. Iran's official state news agency, RNA, IRNA, reported that the boats were quote, rescued by Iranian Navy sailors. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javid 
Zarif spoke with Carrie on the phone and said, A boat had mechanical problems and accidentally strayed, according to the senior administration office. office official. Zarif assured Carrie the sailors were being treated well and would be released. U.S. contact made. The U.S. Navy has been able to speak with the captured sailors, nine men and one woman, a senior U.S. official told CNN. The official said the plan was to meet the sailors in international waters after dawn, but did not say whether the two boats would be returned with the service members. Quote, everybody should be aware of the fact that we have been in touch with the Iranians, and they have assured us that our sailors are safe and they'll be allowed to continue their journey promptly, unquote, White House Press, Press Secretary Josh Ern, uh, Ernest said. Impact on nuclear deal. The capture of the sailors comes days before the deal agreed to between Iran and world powers to freeze Tehran's nuclear program is expected to go into force. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, which is largely re responsible for Iran's nuclear research, is expected to benefit financially from the lifting of sanctions under the pact in return for halting of Tehran's nuclear program. But the lifting of sanctions is due to begin with a pending implementation and this incident could throw a wrench in the works. The capture of the Navy sailors was quickly seized on by U.S. opponents of the nuclear deal as a latest in a series of provocation by Tehran since the deal was agreed. Other incidents include ballistic missile tests that the United Nations charge violated a Security Council resolution. Quote, this kind of openly hostile action is not surprising, unquote, Arkansas Republican Senator Tom Cotton told CNN's Wolf Blitzer. Quote, it's exactly what I said, what I and so many others predicted when President Obama was negotiating the nuclear deal with Iran, that it would embolden their aggression towards the United States and our allies in the region, unquote. And he's right. But Ernest pushed back on the criticism of the deal. Quote, Certainly the United States has been concerned of the kind of prov provocative destabilizing actions that have been a hallmark of Iranian behavior over the last several decades, unquote, Ernest said. Quote, In fact, that is why the United States and this president made it a priority to organize the international community to reach an agreement with Iran that will prevent them from obtaining a nuclear weapon, unquote. You can be assured that Trump and the rest of the Republicans are going to be drump, jumping all over this like uh, a dog in heat. Previous captures. In 2004, three British patrol boats were boarded and seized by Iranian security forces in the Shat al-Arab waterway, which divides Iran and I Iraq and Iran. The crew of the three boats, including eight British sailors and Marines, were blindfolded and paraded on Iranian state TV and held captive for three days. In 2007, Iran captured 15 British sailor, sailors and Marines in the Persian Gulf and accused them of trespassing Iranian territorial waters. Britain maintained that its service members had never entered Iranian waters. By the way, one of my oldest memories is the... Iran uh, seizing the uh, American embassy and taking all the hostages. That was back in 79. Those British service members were paraded before then President Muhab Akhminejad, and critics said their apologies were extracted under duress. No kidding. They were released after two weeks. After the 2007 capture, then Chief of Naval Operations and Minister Mike Mulan said, quote, We've got procedures in place which are very much designed to carry out the mission and protect the sailors who are there. And I would not expect any sailor to be able to be seized by the Iranian Navy or the Iranian Republican Guard. Well, guess what? They were. Well, this is a developing story. Apparently, 
according to Iranian state-sponsored TV, that these uh, guys have been released. But uh, if it wasn't an election year for president, this may may just be sort of talked about for a couple of days and just sort of, you know, brushed under the table. But it is an election year. And just a few days from this big Iranian deal that has been done with us and our president. Well, I am far from a conservative, but I'll tell you one thing. It irritates me a lot when some rinky-dink nation can just grab our sailors and say, you know, we're, we're going to take care of them for a little while. Uh-huh. Yeah. I assure you, Republicans are going to make hay out of this one. This is Shindo. Have a good Wednesday.